Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how to create a local user and how to enable window SMP share on uh, TrueNet scale. I will also go over how to mount a window SMP on uh, Mac OS, on Windows 11, and uh, Linux operating system. So first step, uh, you need to have a data set. If you don't already have one, you can uh, create one by uh, select add a data set. I already have one under uh, pull tank number two and uh, the data set is uh, sit admin 102 underscore share data set is basically like, like a folder on your um, you know uh, max or window so next step we're gonna do it we're gonna create a user so uh, in order to create a local user you would head to uh, credentials and you will select local users and add a new one all right, I'm gonna call it uh, sit admin 102. So when you uh, put in the full name, the system automatically is getting the username for you. However, you have option you can uh, custom it to uh, whatever you want. And we're gonna do a password. All right, uh, user ID and root UID is automatically generate uh, by the system only changes if you know what you're doing uh, by default it uh, gonna create a new primary groups however if you already have a primary groups you can uh, put that user into that group so right here I'm gonna use the built-in system built-in group the user group and add it in that one everything else I'm gonna keep as a default setting alright so now that we have a user, next step we gonna create a uh, SMP share. So we go to uh, share and window SMP share. By default, uh, all the services it stop. Uh, so when we add the SMP, it should have the option for us to uh, start the SMP. All right. Uh, first step, you need to uh, create the patch to the um, share that you would like. So this one, I'm gonna created uh, the patch to uh, sysadmin 102 underscore share all right and the name is uh, sysadmin 102 share I'm gonna copy that name and I put it under the description as well the purpose of uh, this share so it depends how you would like to do it uh, if you select RIVEC SMP data and share data set and share so if you do that, each user will have their own folder within that uh, sysadmin102 uh, underscore share. For example, I have a sysadmin, uh, sysadmin user, it's going to have a folder called sysadmin102. That only that user can access and see the content in there, uh, read and write and execute permissions. Um, and, you know, for example, get user login, it's going to have a folder called, uh, called guest. And then, uh, if you don't want it to create a multiple folder, you just want to log in with a different kind of username. Uh, for example, if you have family and everybody is sharing that same folder, you just want everybody to ha able to have access to that folder, which are separating like different folder for individually. Um, you can do a multi uh, multi protocol. Um, NFS version 3 or SMP share and this will let anybody uh, or any group that have permission to that folder to access this without creating a home folder for that user alright let me go ahead and save it and there we go it's gonna ask you to start SMP because SMP services uh, by default is not running and make sure that you enable this service to start automatically so if your um, system restart or um, you know you shut it down and turn it back on, uh, SMP by default not gonna start automatic and you will not have a SMP uh, share enabled. So by checking that every time your um, system restart, it automatically uh, restarted SMP as well. So we're gonna enable service. All right, so. Now that we have um, uh, the service enabled, so you can edit the um, share ACL. However, uh, 
for this one we do not use ACL because we uh, select the multi um, protocol uh, NFS version 3 and SMP but we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna select the preset ACL instead so let me backtrack a little bit alright so second icon you're gonna edit the file system ACL so we be using the file system ACL instead of uh, the share ACL all right and you can create a custom one or you can select the preset so I'm gonna select the presets for home all right so the presets for home any user under D group have access to the folder uh, let me see if they have a user yep so they do have a user group in here that have read write and execute permission if you actually create a custom group, make sure that you and it's not in here. Make sure that you add that uh, item in here, and you can give a read, write, execute permission, whatever um, you you want that group to do. All right, and make sure that you set the access uh, controllers. All right, so now uh, the ACL is good. Next step, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to uh, mount the SMP on uh, Windows XP. So on Windows X, XP on the keyboard, if you click the the window icon plus uh, the key, uh, key R in Bromio, or you can uh, do a search and you search for run and open up that one. And window on Max is a little bit backward. Uh, so window will you uh, backslash? So you do you would you uh, backslash two time, and then uh, it's gonna be either the FQDN fully qualified domain name or the IP address of your um, true NAS. So in, in this case, I'm using the uh, the domain name. Actually, it's not FQDN, but more like the domain name. So my domain name is Junas Scale 102. Dot, see that mean 102.tech and then one more backsplash and we're gonna mount it to share sys, uh, sysadmin 102 share. Alright and okay. Alright and by default, I can ask you for the username and password, and we're gonna log in with the username we just created earlier. Sit admin and the password. And if you don't want it to um, prompt you to enter the username and password, the next time you uh, log in, uh, you can remember my credential. Check that box and hit OK. And there we go. You have access to the folder share or data set. Uh, sit admin 102 share so this is you have to do it every single time if you want to log in however if you want to mount this uh, try uh, not the try but the, the SMP share you're gonna go back to TrueNAS scale 102 and uh, you're gonna select uh, right click on it and you select map network try alright and Reconnect as sign. There you go. And finish. Alright. Another window pop up. But now see that if you go uh, under uh, this PC, it actually have the the quick link for uh, the um, window SMP share. Alright. So that's how you mount the window SMP share on uh, win window. Next one, I'm going to show you how to mail a uh, window SMP on uh, Mac OS. Alright, on Mac OS, you would go to the Fighter and you would go to uh, Go and you select uh, Connect to a uh, Server. And then from there, just like I said earlier, Mac and Windows is a little bit, uh, you know, backward compared to each other. Windows using uh, Backsplash. Mac using a forward flash, so you would use um, SMP. See my column 
Oh, it's already a uh, semicolon and then uh, forward slash, forward slash, and then. Uh oh. True NAS. There we go. It helps us get this for me already. Tab, and then one more forward splash. Sit admin 102 underscore share. And connect. And we're going to add you uh, for the um, prompt you to enter the username. So when you're logged in with the username I, I created earlier, sit admin and password. And again, if you don't want to, you know, um, enter the password the next time you log in, just select remember this password in my keychain. And there we go. All right, so that's how you. Uh, mail a window uh, uh, SMP on Mac OS. Next I will show you how to mail uh, window SMP on uh, Linux operating system. So we're gonna minimize this. So this is uh, Debian Linux. Uh, I'm using uh, Kali Linux. So Kali Linux already come pre-installed with the CIFS utility. However, if you're in a different uh, Debian distro, you might have to install this utility. So what we can do is we can run the command sudo and uh, it's going to be app and install cifs dash u2 All right. and it's going to prompt you for your password. All right. Uh, as you see, CIFS utility already uh, the newest versions is come pre-installed with the uh, Kali Linux. All right. Next step, we're gonna make a folder, a mail folder. So when you're using a sudo command and make directory mkdir, and I'm uh, using the backslash mail backslash uh, and sysadmin uh, uh, underscore share. All right, let me uh, double check the directory that I have. Uh, so this I mean one of two share, that's the name of the data set, okay. Next, we're gonna mount the window SMP using the command sudo mount dash t entangle and ci fs dash o in oscar and gonna be a username this is the username that the we create earlier in uh, junas scale the local uh, local user so i'm gonna be a uh, sit admin and uh, backslash back uh, no actually forward slash forward slash and it's gonna be the um your TrueNAS uh, SMP uh, IP address uh, or uh, you can use the domain name which I will use for this tutorial TrueNAS scale 102 dot sit admin 102.tech or you can substitute with your IP address and the share name the share name uh, is going to be sit admin 102 underscore share and spay and next we're gonna stake the path to the folder that we want to mount it on our Linux system so earlier I created the uh, mail and uh, sysadmin underscore share okay and you hit enter it's gonna prompt you for the password for the the username uh, sysadmin that uh, we created earlier in TrueNAS. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the password. All right. So now we go to mail, and there we go. You have a share. 
sit admin 102 so that's how you um, would mail um, Windows SMP on Linux hey guys that's it for today's tutorial uh, if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe like and share with your friend uh, as well as um, on the descriptions I have linked to my Amazon uh, list which uh, show you guys all the items that I use for my network as well as all the tools that I use um, also I have the link to my friend at the, the art of servers he have a lot of uh, good video on uh, server home server so check out his channel I will be including his uh, channel uh, link on on the descriptions uh, and uh, like always thank you for your support and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.